We are going to start the weigh-in. Ash, answer the phone! Hello. Where's he at? Just hold him off. Tell him I'm coming. He's on the bicycle. No, dummy, is wait. What weight's he at? Where you at, Vinny? I'm coming! He's coming. Everybody! That little surprise for you. 140 pounds even. Yeah! Tomorrow night, you're gone. I'm gonna rain on you like a thunderstorm. I feel like I should be on a box of weedies doing a Gatorade commercial. Hi. Hey, Katie, so this is actually a different kind of character that we were used to seeing you. I mean, yes. I, I was waiting for you to, you know, knock somebody out right. in this film. I mean, how was it playing somebody different? Uh, always good to play somebody different and uh, really interesting. I, um, you know, it was, uh, it, it's an interesting um, change in perspective when you're not playing sort of the the badass or the, the sexy one or the, you know. So this was really... Uh, S super great for me, super interesting and fun. And were you able to actually meet Vinny's mom? Because I, I no. read stuff about her though, and it, she sounded very interesting with, right. like she never left the house, she kind of never drove. Yeah, no, she had passed on. But um, I read a lot about her and she, uh, you know, she sounds like an old school Italian mom. And she, you know, she would walk to the market, she'd get her, buy her fresh food, she loved to cook, she loved to take care of her family and kind of keep her blinders on to what yeah. was going on. She had that, that little shrine in her room yes. every time Vinny would box. Yeah. She felt very connected to God and I think she felt very in charge of that part of the family. If, I'm, if I stay connected, everybody will be watched out for. Mm -hmm. The, the very like mama bear kind the of the mama like, yeah, bear yeah mm -hmm. and then actually how was it working with um with miles i mean he did such a great job as, as portraying Vinny. miles was uh first of all i felt instantly maternal towards him i don't he just reminded me of one of my kids and uh he had some levity he made it fun you know it was a it's a tragic story that be that rises above the tragedy so there has to be levity involved in all that and he brought a lot of that Memorial Hospital tonight with a fractured neck. If you let me do the fusion, I can guarantee you'll be able to walk again. I need to be able to fight again. Me. And not fuse in my neck. With this severe of an injury, one bump, one fall, ah! any kind of movement, and your spinal cord could sever. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Yeah, I know. We're not done here, Vinny. Whole world outside the ring. I'm getting pretty sick of people talking about me like I'm dead. Kev, I'm gonna fight again. No, you ain't, Vinny. And one thing I did not ask him about was working with the Halo, though. But how oh. was it shooting with the Halo and him? Because it looks like it might have even just been painful just to shoot with. Yes, yeah. and he was really, yeah. he didn't complain. I mean, he was good. And I knew at certain times it hurt. But he was, uh, you know, he just wasn't a whiner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like Vinny. Yeah. He yeah. was not. He yeah. was great. Yeah. And then how was it working with um, Ben Younger? I mean, oh, I he, love ben. He's, he seems like he runs a production very smoothly. Yeah, very smoothly and not a lot of stress. And you know, it was a, it was a short shoot. It was 24 days, which for me, coming from a lot of cable television, I'm used to the schedule. So it's five, six pages a day, which I like. But some people can get just flipped out on it. And he never did. I mean, he was very... Um, prepared, which is kind of the key when you have such a short schedule, and things just felt, you know, like they were cohesive and comfortable, and it was a great vibe. And uh, this film takes place in the 80s, so I was talking to Miles about, you know, the mullets, the fanny packs, you know. Shoulder pads. Yeah. I mean, what was one of your favorites? Shoulder pads. Shoulder pads, yeah. Yeah, I loved them. I loved them then, I love them now. <laughs> and how was actually shooting in the actual, because you actually shot in some of the actual locations. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of your scenes were in the home, obviously, right? Yes, yeah. we were in the house. Was it actually Vinny's actual house? It wasn't or? actually mm -hmm. Vinny's house, but it was a house like that, and yeah. decorated in that way. So, um, you know, it was great. We would change our clothes upstairs and come downstairs and shoot in the living room. So it was a very um, bare bones at times production, but it sort of all fed into what we were doing. And the story was so compelling. We were all just glad to be there. Vinny, no, no. 
I mean, you just don't know how to give up. No, I know exactly how to give up. You know what scares me, Kev? Is that it's easy. Come on, this is insane. We can get drunk or hot, cup or tea. Oh, no. You gotta do something. Oh, I can't no. be part of you getting hurt no more. I'm not done. Alright, I got more in me. Now go out there and show me how you do things. Show me how you live. Show me how you fight. Show me who you are.